What's up guys? What I got here is a KitchenAid K400 blender. This is a set kit from Costco. I bought it on sale for only $150. And uh, it retails usually for $250, so a great value. On top of that, they also included a extra portable, smaller personal size uh, blending cup and uh, a portable cup that you can take with you if you go to work or go to other places um with a extra blending accessory for the cup okay so this whole kit if you buy it outside of costco is most definitely going to be over 200 dollars. so let's uh, go ahead and unbox this and we'll take a look and my very first project with this is gonna be i want to make some almond milk so i have some raw almonds already soaked over here pretty much i'm gonna make almond milk uh, when I get this thing out and uh, I'm gonna actually also blending some strawberry So I'm gonna make a strawberry almond milk. I hope it works. So let's get started Okay, so I read through the menu. It's pretty straightforward. There's really not much to it. It's a blender um, but A couple of details I want to show you guys so on the top on the top cap uh, They also included a little measuring cup on the flip side, which is really a nice touch so when you remove this, you can use the tamper to push stuff down um, on some of the thicker stuff that you're going to make. Uh, the tamper stops before the blade, so you don't have to worry about you know, it hitting the blade, which is really nice. Um, otherwise, you just put this little top on there. It should always stay on there. The top cap is plastic uh, with a little rubber, rubbery seal around the edge over here. Um, very durable and dishwasher safe. The entire thing, everything is dishwasher safe. Uh, the base is obviously not. You just wipe it with this damp cloth. That's all you need to do. And this is a 56 ounce jar. It's about 1.5 uh, milliliters of good stuff that you can make. They also have some other accessories that's not included, like a citrus, a citrus press, and also a glass jar that's slightly smaller but much more durable. Um, by the way, this is BPA free. Um, so, and the personal jar, of course, comes with a its own personalized personalized blender uh, blade over here. So this blade is only for the smaller jars, and you just screw it on there to blend stuff. And the small jar also comes with a cap um, that that can seal the um, the liquid inside very nicely. Okay. Very well made. Everything's very solid, very thick material compared to some of the cheaper stuff you can find on the market. And uh, so my test today is just going to be almond milk, but with a twist. I'm going to add some strawberries to make a strawberry almond milk. And uh, let's see how well it goes. Okay, so I'm basically just going to remove the stem from the strawberry and... Uh, I'm going to put everything in there, add some water, and then we're going to start blending. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's go through some of the features really quick. So you have your, you know, one to five speed infinite adjustment over here. You also have your pulse. And interestingly, like, it does not have a safety feature. So if you do it on a pulse, it starts pulsing. Okay, so you have to be really careful and make this stay away from the kids and also you have you know the adjustable speed from one to five when you have the speed over here just press start and it starts to blend and you press it again it stops and on those customized modes uh it's mainly for icy drinks so the first one is to crush ice the second one is to make ice drink and the third one is to make smoothie so all those um, have a different time so for crushing ice it's a 30 second crush so once you press start it crushes for 30 seconds same with the icy drink you press start it crushes for 30 seconds with different it was a customized speed as well as for smoothie for smoothie you press start it goes for 45 seconds and then it stops and if you still doesn't get a desired effect you can go back to your pulse mode or just go to one of those lower speeds and hit the start button again to continue the blend to get the desired effect you want. So very simple, very easy to use. And one last mode at the very bottom is a clean mode. You get onto clean mode, you fill the jar with half amount of water and two drops of dish soap. 
and then you hit the cling mode, it spins for, I think, a couple seconds, and then it stops, 15 seconds, I think. And then you can really easily cling the jar just by rinsing it. Okay, so that's pretty much it to this blender. Um, to put it on here, there is also not a, not a lock. So it's pretty much just drop it in there and you hit start and it's gonna blend. So again, there's no safety feature. So that's one thing I guess uh, they kind of omitted uh, over there. Um, so if you really, really if you have kids and you are less careful, be really careful about it. Try not to hit it or doing things around it when the blade is actually spinning over there because obviously if you put your hand in there your hand is gonna become the smoothie so very dangerous um, so that's the only downside I found so far before I started using it otherwise um, let's uh, finish chopping the strawberry and then let's start blending action all right we're almost ready to make the um, the excited first smoothie or almond milk mix whatever um, so I already put in uh, about four cups of water uh, that's about one liter of water and it's cold water so it's gonna taste better uh, when the almond gets mixed usually when you make the almond milk you use a strainer to get the fiber and the skin out however the skin is, is really good fiber and I don't want to waste it so I'm gonna just directly drink this all together I'm not even gonna use a strainer so it's gonna look funky but I don't care because it's very nutritious Everything about almond is nutritious. I'm just gonna drop the almond in here. So to start, you always put in liquid first and then you put the rest of your ingredients in there. And make sure it's less than the rated capacity of 57 ounces, which it is, barely. So uh, that's that's what it looks like. And uh, I think it's gonna be an interesting mess, right? So let's let's get started. Um, so of course you actually let's see where you are lying. So I guess you are lying this tab close to where the handle is, and uh, I am just gonna go ahead and put it in there. And you also you drop in the blender either on the left or the right side. Um, it's uh, ambidextrous, which is good because I'm left-handed, so I always bring it like that. And for some blenders, you can only do that. For me, it's, it's not very convenient, but so for this one, it's really nice. And again, because of the lack of the safety feature, it's really easy to put it in there and start using it. Um, I am gonna try to just go from a slower speed and then all the way up to a higher speed. So as you can see, when I put it on one, um, the start stop button starts to line up. So I'm gonna hit start. Blending very nicely. So I stopped it. It already looks very good. Uh, with the strawberry mix, it looks kind of delicious. Here, get a little closer to the to the video so you guys can see. Looks really nice, right? And it's just almond and the strawberry and water, and that's pretty much it. Um, so I think for the five, it's probably too fast for this blend. So I was keeping my setting at two. And it's actually doing a very nice job of like blending stuff. So one thing about it doesn't have a locking mechanism is that at the initial blend, it's slightly unbalanced. So it actually moves around quite a lot. So I guess when blending, like especially at very high speed, I would 
probably want to have have my hand on top of it, on top of it and holding it for blending. Otherwise, it might I feel like it, it might just you know fall off like that. Um, again, I'm not sure if there is a lock for there, but it doesn't mention anything about locking it. And also, obviously, as you can see, even if I move it, it still spins around. So that's definitely one feature you guys want to uh, keep an eye or think about before making a purchase for this blender. So let me try the smoothie mode because I think this is kind of a smoothie without ice, uh, but it will be fun to try and I think it's going to spin for 45 seconds. Let's just give it a try. Wow, I think everything just got pulverized and uh, into like something super smooth. Um, let's let's take a quick look. So, oh wow, it actually smells really really nice. It smells very strawberry and it's almond milk. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try to have my camera closer. Take a look. I mean, there are some bubbles, but it's very, very smooth down there. So let me grab a cup, maybe. Just pour something in the cup. So yeah, it, it definitely works. Wish I have a glass cup so, um, so we can see the content a little bit better. Look at that. It's beautiful. And whatever's left definitely goes to the fridge. I'm gonna give it a quick try. Hmm. Not bad. It tastes like smoothie, except I didn't put any ice in it. But uh it definitely does its job. And uh, because I didn't uh, I didn't filter out the the skin. I can taste a lot of like uh, very fine powdery stuff, and I'm pretty sure that's from the almond. But otherwise, it it's got a very smooth texture. Like this thing pulverized pretty much everything in here, including the almond. So I would say, yeah, it does. It definitely does its job perfectly fine. And uh, so I, if you ask me, would I bought it? Before I find out that it does not have a safety feature and it kind of wobbles around um, when it's on the base, uh, for sure. Because for the price, the one I think it's one point seven horsepower motor. It's it's already very powerful motor. Like I don't I can't imagine if you need anything power than more power, more powerful than that, to get your things pulverized. And uh, it's got a very large volume. Um, jar to hold everything you need it's also got personalized jar and it's even have a smaller jar that's not included that as a as optional accessory so most definitely a great value um that's pretty much it the kitchen aid k400 smoothie blender whatever spice blender um if you guys have any questions about this blender feel free to ask me in the comment section down below otherwise i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my smoothie and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.